the the intensity that he thought you guys played with um, just maybe came a little bit too late and as you kind of made the comeback as a team uh, from the first quarter did, did you see it that way or was there something else that you noticed about Miami um yeah I mean we just started off a little uh, a lot too slow um, but picked it up a little too late um, and our intensity our sense of urgency uh, was a little late okay. Russ, what about Miami's offense, the way they run things, uh, made it difficult for you guys in the first half? And, and where do you think you improved the most mm, on that end? Just play harder. That's it. It was just play harder. Enough. We decided to play hard. You see the difference. It, matter what, it doesn't matter in this league. It doesn't matter what a team runs or what it is. If somebody's playing hard on you, you will know right away. Um, and then that's that. And then when we decided to be able to – Step our intensity up on both sides, rebound the ball, defend, run, play the way we supposed to play. Then uh, you see the results. Yeah. Russ, um, this might be a hard question to answer, but why doesn't that happen more consistently with this group? That I don't know. Yeah. Is that frustrating that you guys have been chasing sort of that answer for a, a little while now? I don't know if that's if that's the tr is that true or not. I don't know if we've been chasing it or not, but. Um, I don't have the answer to that question. Um, AD is very close to coming back. Um, that does mean a round of changes again, too, for this team. But but what is, what is it going to mean to kind of get that level of talent back on the court for this group? And do you think it'll give you not just an encore boost, but maybe like a, a mental boost to kind of be closer to the hole? Um, I think it's uh, whenever you get a, a player like AD back, it definitely changes your team, not just on the offensive side, but defensive side. Um, he's able to do things that people can't do at his size. Um, and definitely gives the team a, a boost, get a chance to be able to see everybody on the floor. Um, at least, you know, uh, hopefully as we kind of move forward towards the tail end of the season. Uh, Avery mentioned this, the switching defense really kind of made reads easier. I was wondering your view on on that change and, and how it changed the dynamic of the game? Yeah, I mean, um, it was a good adjustment. Um, for the most part, we did a good job of executing it. Well, Russ, back to AD. How do you, I guess, 17 games without him uh, so far, um, how, do you, how do you look at this stretch that you guys have kind of had to endure without him? Um, and do you, I mean, you're sitting kind of still right around that 500 mark. I mean, do you feel like you've kind of managed to survive that stretch? And then two, um, do you do you feel like some of the problems you've endured in that time, to what degree do those just automatically get resolved with AD? Like how much of that just uh, gets fixed by him coming back? Uh, first question, I think um, it's hard to, to tell because a lot, of, a lot of those games, it varies because some of those times Brown was in, I think missed some and then some other guys missed some games. It, it kind of varies. You know, that's a difficult question to, to answer. And the second one is the same. Like, not one person is going to change every aspect of, you know, what we're doing. And I think for us, it's also going to be an adjustment for everybody to kind of get back into the, the rhythm of uh, playing with AD and AD as well, getting his win back, getting his conditioning back. That's going to be a, a process. And it's our job to, to be able to make sure that we can help him uh, through that process. Here's a look at Russell Westbrook over the last two games.